Hello, hello, hello. If you're doing good, say good. If you're doing great, say great. If you're bored, say bored. Oh, okay, okay. I have to see who's listening. Uh, just, but I know this is a TEDx audience, so I, I knew it would be hard to get one over on you all. My name is Derek Christian. You can follow me on social media at dchristianii because I am the wearer of many hats. All of those things are on those pages. But today, I have the privilege of bringing some spoken word poetry to you all today. Does that sound good? Yeah. Good, good. And so by a show of hands, how many of us have ever been to a spoken word poetry event, heard spoken word poetry? Okay, so we're in a good room. We're in a good room. So I like to do a lot of crowd participation. And I do that in two ways. So the first way is, can everyone just snap for me? Can you snap? Beautiful, you hear that? Sounds like the crickets before the Little Mermaid, you know, got kissed. It's like, it's beautiful. So, if I say something that you like, feel free to snap, clap, say yes, or oh, crrr, if there's some Cardi B fans in here. <laughs> Whatever your thing is, let me know that you love it. Do that, and so you can have that moment together. The second thing is, let me hear you say rewind. rewind. One more time, say rewind. rewind. Beautiful. So if I say something and you like it, if I hear enough people say rewind, or if I hear somebody just say it from the diaphragm really loud, I repeat that line back together and we can experience that together again. Sound good? All right. So this piece is written especially for this topic of design. It matches with the piece of crayon that was in your seat. And hopefully that you use it outside. This piece is called Broken Crayons. Life is a community canvas. And we're all born to contribute to the art. So let me break it to you. It's not I that you are part of the bigger picture, even when you feel like you are broken apart. In addition, your birth certificate is signed permission that you are commissioned to leave your mark. So leave where you're mentally parked, to lend your ear to hear what's inside of your heart and allow it to speak for what you seek. Because if why you were brought into this world isn't where you work 40 plus hours a week, then you can be on time for your job and still late for the job that you were born to complete. Can I, is that, only, only if I can, I'm not, I'm not here to bore you, I'm not here to bore you. I said, if why you were brought into this world isn't where you work 40 plus hours a week, then you can be on time for your job and still late for the job that you were born to complete. How can you spend overtime at work when you haven't even clocked into your destiny, get out of the unemployment line of your dream and suit up for the role that you were designed to be and that requires you expressing the A-R-T, the art, inside of your H-E-A-R-T. Express the arts inside of your H-E-A-R-T. Because after you splash some color in their life, some people will still wipe you away and treat you as trash. Well, our lives do not become unlivable because someone thinks that we're unlovable. Rewind. Our lives do not become unlivable because someone thinks that we're unlovable. Though wells of tears may crash on our face when those rose-colored glasses smash, I hope you see that waterworks become watercolors. When the tear stained glass windows reflect that you are being discarded shards, I pray that you make peace with your pieces. Fragments make framework, your fractions factor in. Fractals reframed as masterpieces of stained glass windows refract heavenly light when they're invited in. Cut glass is not a repair, it's required to be shared as a masterpiece we stare at bare in mind. It takes time to be timeless. So don't rush the timeline. Despite your broken appearance, you still have God's clearance to be designed. I think I heard a rewind. Can I just say that again? Can I say that? Okay, I, just, I was making sure I was listening to the audience. I was like, okay, I said. <laughs> it takes time to be timeless. So don't rush the timeline. Despite your appearance, you still have God's clearance to be divine. And by design, your art is an exhibition, not a competition. Give it to the world freely and only take advice if you choose to listen. Go from searching for permission slips to where you're searching for permission slips because you're faithfully following your vision. Yes. Wow. Only if I can, I don't want to bore you. I said, go from searching for permission slips to where you're searching for permission slips because you faithfully follow your vision and get some positive pals in your palette. 
<laughs> a cast of complimentary colors correctly compelling you not to morally compromise your composition. And when it comes to those haters, man, listen. Haters practice perfectionism or professionalism and impressionism once you change the game. But carbon copies are priceless than priceless originals like how you came. Some people are so scared of the greatness in their reflection that they compel you to camouflage yours so you become the sketchy self-portrait of what they became. But don't mirror their color scheme. Keep away from people who keep telling you to keep it tame. I said don't match their color scheme. Keep away from people who keep telling you to keep it tame. Because people tried to be little me when I was little me. But little did they know that little me would grow to be everything that he wanted to be. So from that time that I was in the stroller, I said again, I said, people tried to be little me when I was little me. But little did they know that little me would grow to be everything that he wanted to be. So since that time that I was in the stroller, when I was told that my Crayola would never color up the world with the dreams that I had inside that I sketched out for myself over and over and over and over, over time. I put in overtime to undermine their attempts to make my color fade. Because even if I lived up to the expectation of me, then for me, that would still be considered a downgrade. I have a BA in me, I won't go down a grade. They're a TA to me, I won't go down a grade. I'm the professor, professing my passion, not passing these papers when my purpose is downplayed. So when you feel down at any age, Whenever your heart bleeds black and blue, take a page from this black man on this red dot in a tan suit on this TEDx stage, that it's not over for you. And it's never over for you. When your heart bleeds black and blue, take a page from this black man on this red dot in this tan suit on a TEDx stage, that it's not over for you. It's never over for you. And I know that it's just my opinion. And no, you didn't ask, but I couldn't help but notice the look in your eyes and recognize that I felt the same feeling as you as recent as last night and last month and so many other times before in my past. But as our paths crossed just now, I couldn't pass on encouraging you that this too shall pass. But let me add that you're playing with your potential. Don't let that break of your color pencil point you in the direction of thinking that your drawing utensil is no longer instrumental. If, if, if I can, sometimes you gotta, you know, gotta encourage yourself, Sam. <laughs> you are playing with your potential. Don't let that break of a color pencil point you in the direction of thinking that your drawing utensil is no longer instrumental. I'm, I'm here and created to pinpoint pain points and write them away with my pen points. And that's how I'm staying sharp and being sharp to be influential. And one point of why I'm here today is to tell you don't live in 2D when you're three-dimensional. Don't live in 2D when you're three-dimensional. Age is not a gravestone, it's a milestone. It's not a cage nor comfort zone to stay home growing resentful, postponing your dreams until you're home going no. Own your Pantone. Own your Pantone. <laughs> Age is not a gravestone, it's a milestone. Not a cage, nor comfort zone. For you to stay home growing resentful, postponing your dreams until your home going no, own your Pantone. But let's not make this abstract. I'll illustrate this point by taking it back to one of the first known art pieces we're ever shown, crayons. Crayons are our introduction to art. Before our imaginary friends ink their impression on our infinite infant imagination, crayons are like the initial ideas inched inside of us before external ideas infract on our inclination. The translation is let's get back to our crayons. Let's give back like our crayons. Crayons are compact in a box, compact in a box, stacked in a box, but they make their greatest contribution when they make contact outside of that box. Think outside of the box color, outside of the lines, people of color, though you have the capability, you are not used to trace. And I'm gonna repeat that again, I said, crayons compact in a box, compact in a box, stacked in a box, but they make their greatest contribution when they make contact outside of that box. Think outside of the box, color outside of the lines. People of color take up space, though you have that capability. You are too original to trace. Crayons can get shorter because they break because of what the world threw at it. 
or they can get shorter because they drew everything that they imagined through passion and practice. Take action. Don't let imperfections implement distractions. You can still be insecure while securing your place in history. Just keep at it. Things may feel tragic because you see that classic crayon wax peeling, but just keep active. It's the enemy's tactic that you get so welled up with dull dreams that you instead create dramatics and get erratic and get so fed up that you grab your crayon, take it and snap it, but don't you dare leave this world behind without leaving behind your magic. Don't you dare leave this world behind without leaving behind your magic because broken crayons still color. So I hope that you can find it in your heart to see the bigger picture of your life and see that you are a valuable piece of the art and soar. Give yourself permission to explore because even if you don't look like the original design, you are still capable of being what you designed for. So go in the world and color it in some more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.